anybody here? Oh, hey. Hey, guys. I see you in the chat. I'm just going to hang on for a second in case. Let's get some more people here before we begin. I just realized I'm looking over there and the camera's over here. Hey. <laughs> How's it going, guys? I'm just wondering, is everyone here in the UK, I'm assuming, because in in uh, in America it's like 1pm or something, so I'm assuming you would be in school or university or work or whatever you do. Guys, talk to me in the chat. Honestly, I don't, I don't bite. I, I like to think I'm, I'm a nice guy. You can talk to me, please. It's lonely here alone. Guys, you think you're pretty much ready to start if I'm okay to go? Just give me a sign, guys. Just, just say anything and I'll begin. I'm just, <laughs> just waiting for something. Just say something. No? Well, that's kind of sad. Well... I think we're just going to go anyway, actually. So, uh, what I thought we'd do today, because last time, if you were here, or last night, um, what happened? Oh yeah, we lost. We kind of, uh, we kind of went completely bankrupt in our town. So what I, th what we did at the end of the last episode is we found a new town, but literally we just, we like pressed new game, but we didn't start doing anything. So what I thought actually, rather than using one of the standard, uh, one of the standard maps you can get. I thought the screen would actually load quicker than this, and I'll be able to show you without having to wait for this loading screen. That's kind of annoying. Oh, what the hell? Huh. Oh, we're still at like minus 34,000. So that this is the town we had yesterday, which is basically going bankrupt. So we're not going to use this. Let's go back to the main menu. So, what I thought we'd do today is, I thought we'd start a new town, but I thought we'd make our own custom map, because, uh, ooh, uh, yeah, but I have no idea, I don't know, which, uh, let's just go temporary, because that's nice, see, I thought we'd make a custom map, because, uh, I'm, I think I'm special enough to deserve my own bespoke map, so I thought we'd make our own one, that's kind of cool, how big can we make it, is that one, one city square, like if I put a tree down. Yeah, well, that's tiny, yeah. So this is this is like one square. So this is 25 squares. Requirements. Have a water stream in the starting area. Have at least one incoming highway... Oh, one incoming highway connection. One outgoing highway connection. Have at least one train track connection. One ship path connection. Oh, these are recommended. One plane path 
oil areas, forest areas, fertile areas, and all areas. Okay, so what we're going to do... Place a water source. Oh, you can start a river. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, we're going to adjust the height of sea level. Oh, I guess the way we do this is... We get the terrain tool. Uh, Right-click to lower. And then we sort of just... Go... Like this. Oh, and we make holes. Water is realistically dynamic. Um, Yeah, we'll try that in a sec. So we make holes in the floor. Is there water there? No, that's just... Let's see how deep we have to go to get water. Do we have to change how much we go down by? Hmm. Go downwards. Where's the water? Um, That's... Yeah, it's not... It's not making water happen. I don't know. It won't go any lower than that. Unless I can... That's weird. I guess it's just different types of erosion. Different erosion patterns. Ugh, you can make, like, weird cratery stuff. I don't want that. Undo. Oh, you can undo. You can control Z stuff. That's kind of useful. So let's get the water level. And, uh... I think you have to make a hill. Okay, yeah, let's go upwards. And then we'll just raise the water level. So let's, let's start... Let's get rid of this thing. Let's start by raising up some bits. Oh, that looks... That's actually too steep. Let's just make, like, some generic mountainy shape in the middle. Just something like that. That's probably a good idea. Let's add some more stuff, because that's not really enough land, is it? So let's maybe just have, like, a, a mountainy bit in the middle. And we'll smooth this out later. Um, and then we'll just have, like, an island which is surrounded by water. Because that's the coolest way to make a map. That's the coolest type of map. Oh, that's as high as you can go. That's, that's maximum high. It makes, like, this weird uber flat plateau which is kind of strange so let's have like a plateau thing going right at the top and then we have mountains leading up we have mountains all over here because that's going to be that's the edge of where we can build to so actually we shouldn't go we shouldn't go past the edge because i'll look dodgy if i'm not allowed to build to there so let's actually get rid of that get rid of that we'll have the plateau over here that's better that's much better look at that okay that's kind of cool just go like this i won't i won't go past the box at the edge because i don't want to have any unbuildable land because that will look crappy and only this is as big as you can make the brush. So, uh, I can't, like, raise the whole thing up all at once. I have to do it like this. Okay. So now, if we get the water level tool. Water. Um. Yes, move sea level. Oh, okay, I see. Just this slider, and then suddenly it's gonna, like, come over the land. Yeah. Oh, that's too high. That's, that's too high. Let's go down. Go down. Oh, that's going down. Is that the sort of height we want? I think that looks sensible, but now I've got all this water stuck on the land. I see what you're saying about uh, dynamic water, because it's now... Uh, um, yes. Uh, of course! I think we've got, like, a wave stuck on land. Uh, reset water to sea level, I think. Reset water to sea level! Go back! Oh, it's going, it's going. Oh, it's made loads of sand now. It's made a beach on, like, the whole island. And now we've got a lake there. That's fine, we can have a lake. So that looks like a good a good water height. And let's just uh, soften the land a bit. Where's the soften tool? The level? Soften. So let's soften. Just, that's not really doing anything. That's hardly doing anything. I want to soften way more because I don't like having all these, like, rocky, mountainy bits. Let's actually just have, like, a nice... Oh god, that was too much. That's not what I wanted. Undo that. Let's maybe get this tool and then flat. Oh my god! Oh, it's choosing a height. Ah, okay. Now we want the soften tool. We want the soften tool, but we want like the really strong soften tool. That's still not as strong as I wanted, but that should be fine. We should make the starting tile like super, super flat so it's easy to start off. Just like this. Yes, and let's soften down this mountainy thing. All good. And actually, so it's the whole island's not just like a square. What is happening with the waves? That looks really strange. Let's make some cutaways in. So let's go down maybe like this. Oh. Oh, oh no, I need to turn time on, don't I? Tsunami! Is that going to all flow into that bay? Oh, that is kind of cool. That is kind of cool, the way you're like real-time map editing. I like that. So we've got a bay there. Let's have another, like, big shallow bay there. And let's do one like this. 
And actually, let's just take this whole corner off that. It's more sensible. Like that. That should be good. Let's see what that looks like once the water actually gets there. God, it takes a while, doesn't it? And I can't... This is as fast as it goes. Oh, God. Um... That's really weird, that real-time map editing, though. That is really strange. Not really real-time, because, look, you can see the days going past in the bottom here. And I'm pretty sure water flows faster than, like, a meters per day kind of rate. It's as if the sea is made of jam. That is cool, though. It's just engulfing the land. How high is it going to go? How high is... His sea level sort of here. So we're going to have a really steep bay, actually. I'm going to soften that down. I'll wait till it gets in. Oh, it's made the bay there. And it's making the bay here. We've got that lovely little lake there. Let's just... Con oh, that's not the soften tool. Oh, I completely screwed it. Okay, this is the soften tool. Let's just soften off these cliffs a little bit. So they're not so cliffy. But that's kind of cool there. I like that sort of rock feature. I like what we've got there. Soften, soften, soften. I like map editors. Map editors are fun. In a really kind of slow, boring way. But they are fun. I want to get a bit more green, so I'm assuming you can't build uh, where we got rocks. So I want to make it like majority green. Oh god, it's just letting the water in though. Uh, give me more green, but stop bringing the water in. But that's too so that's that's basically doing the same thing. Okay, I think that's more what we wanted. And then let's soften off this plateau because that looks really weird actually. Oh, the sea does not like this in the slightest. The sea is having a hard time coping with this. Jinka can actually make like terraced roads and stuff going up this, or just think I bet that's basically impossible to get to now. Hopefully it's not impossible, because that would suck to have this huge open area which you can't even access. Oh, the lake has become one with the sea. That's kind of cool looking. Let's soften. Some more softening. That's alright. That's alright. This is all nice looking. This probably will leave us with hardly any area to actually build on. But whatever, we can make do. So this is this is going to be our island. It looks kind of like a... Um, a... Uh, it looks like a... It doesn't really look like anything. I want to say a tree frog, but I don't know why. It looks like a frog, somehow. Just just don't question that. It just does. Let's actually do some erosion as well, so it looks a bit more normal. Let's just have the cliffs a bit eroded. Just like this. That's the soften tool. A bit like this. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's not really doing anything in the slightest. I do more like this. Oh, look at that. That erosion, though. Okay. I'm going to stop playing around. I'm going to not spend all day doing this. We need to get going with our new town. Okay, that should be good. That should be good. Okay, so hopefully that will be fine. Hopefully it won't go all weird when I try and load it up. So we want to say... Actually, no. We need to add more stuff. We need to... What the... Nope. Oh, you can, like, draw a height map and then do it like that. Anyway, let's add some stuff. So we want oil... Let's give ourselves some oil in the starting... No, let's put it, like, near the starting region. Let's put it on this... Yeah, let's put it on this peninsula here. This can be, like, the industry peninsula. So we'll just stick a load of oil there. That's oily. I don't know. Oh, wait. Brush strength. Lots of oil. I'm assuming that works like that. Uh, let's put ores on this coast here. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, but hopefully this works out fine. And then fertile land. Let's have some fertile land near the start. Just sort of up here. That's fertile land. So that should be all good. <laughs> We've not got much space to have industry in, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll survive. We'll be fine. So we're going to have like the industry side of town and the residential side of town. Then we want some trees. Oh, yeah, we should probably put some forest on because it's completely plain. Oh, we don't really need them. It doesn't really add that much. Okay, existing highways to the outside. So we... Oh, God, how the hell is that going to work? Um, we need some highway going to the outside. I guess we can just make a bridge across the sea and the game doesn't really care. So if I just have a, a uh, highway going sort of... Like 
this. I need to make it go in both ways, don't I? It just goes all the way across the sea. Height too high. What do you mean? Oh, that is, yeah, that's quite high. Let's just lower that down. Oh, you can't have it low. That's as low as it goes. Height too high. Oh, God. Um, it's not enjoying this. The game is not enjoying that in the slightest. Oh, it's sort of letting me do it. There. Does that count? Look, it's flashing on and off. And when it says to the outside, how do I do that? Do I literally go the whole way to the edge or just I go like here? I think if I just have it to sort of here, that counts. <laughs> have I done it? Uh, at least one incoming highway connection. But but how? How do I set the like the edge of the map? I don't get it. Map settings. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, animals, wildlife spawn point. Let's just have loads of wildlife up here, and then we can, we can once we get there, we can just destroy their homeland. Many wildlife, many many wildlife indeed. Okay, we'll we'll put. I'll probably forget that, and then we'll remember when we come back to it. So, the highway with the outside. I don't see how that's not a highway with the outside, but apparently it's not. So if I just keep going, does it count? Let's have a nice, like, massive curved bridge because it will look cooler. Does that count? Oh, it does! One outgoing road connection used. Okay, so that counts. Um, and we also need to have, like, the the same thing but coming inwards. Or is that both ways? No, that's only one way. Which way is it, though? I don't know. I think... Yeah. It's a, it's a one-way road, but it doesn't say which way it is. Let's actually have it going the whole way across the map. And then going off the other side as well. So let's have it going like this. And then coming out here. Oh no, but it's going to ruin my bay. Ah, but the bay looks so cool. No, that actually, that's fine. That It doesn't need to be any, any more than that. So let's have the other road right alongside. Like that. And then... It just... Where does it curve? It starts curving here at the end of these bridges. So we have it going to here. That alongside. That looks good to me. But it's like lower down. For some reason, it's it's way lower down. But let's not question it. And then we did the curve something like this. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool looking. I made a nice looking thing for once. Don't know how. I don't know why the other one's so much higher off the ground. Um, don't know. Also, it, that's a bit of a dodgy slope there. But the, I'm sure. I'm sure the. Oh my god! It goes. It floats. We have floating highway. Ah. That sucks. God damn it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so we've got the outside road connection. One outgoing highway. We apparently don't have an incoming highway. Oh, I remember. Because uh, it does them like in the direction you draw them. So I need to... I don't think there's a way just to swap the direction of travel. Annoyingly. So let's actually delete this whole thing. That's annoying. There's no quick delete for the entire road then. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have probably prepared this map. To be honest, that would have been more sensible. If if it turns out that it's really hard to get a map which the game actually accepts, we'll just go back to using one of the standard ones. But I think it would be way cooler to use our own our own custom map. I think that'd be better. So maybe if I do that, no, actually, let's just delete the whole thing. It's gonna it's gonna say that that's going the same way. I can just tell because like, it's got the arrows on the end. Yeah, that's definitely going the wrong way. So, we need to start the highway over here. Literally, oh, you just start off the map. Cool, why not? Of course. It goes to like here, and then it curves round to about here. And then it goes alongside in a straight line to here. All good. Stick it right along, oh my god, right alongside, like that. And I've got one of four incoming road connections, so I've got that. And I have one water stream in the starting area, so I need to place down a water source. Which is like this. Yeah, that's a water source. So where should the stream start? It should probably start on the high ground, that would make sense. In the starting area. Ah, okay. 
Um, if I just start it here, let's see what happens. Oh my. Don't go over the road. Don't go over the road, please. It's going to do bad things. It's going to do really bad things, I can just tell. Hopefully it finds out which way to go. Oh, it's, it's going to go straight over the goddamn road. God damn it. Will it destroy the road? No, it's just going to submerge it. Ah. Uh, so stupid. I should have really dug a channel for the river, to be honest. That would have made more sense. So let's just let that flow out to the sea. Is it even going to get to the sea? Is it going to get stuck? Oh no, it's gotten stuck. It's making a lake now. And yeah, the, the road is in fact underwater. Well, that's kind of annoying. I don't know if the cars can go underwater. I don't know if that actually affects them or not. Actually, it's just flooded the entire area. Okay, we're going to delete that. Get rid of that. Can I bulldoze water areas? No. How do I get rid of them? I think I just got rid of that one. Okay, so we need to dig a channel for the water to go through. So we want it going sort of like a much smaller brush. A much smaller brush. Yes. Okay, so we want it going like from up here. What the hell? Oh, it's because I'm looking at it from an angle. If I just look at it straight down. So we want it going from here. Down like this. You would think it could figure out from there, but probably not. So then we're going down like that. And then into the sea. Hopefully that works. Now if you put the water source in this thing. In there. Please work. Please work. Oh, stop flooding the land. It's so stupid. I think... No, no it's doing... It's doing really weird stuff. It's like the water source is outside of the hole. Hmm. And it's still taking... It's made all of this a beach now. But one giant beach. So we need to make this hole bigger. Much bigger than that. That makes sense. That makes sense. Of course it does. So that's at least containing the river. So those bits of water should hopefully flood away. Is there... What was the, uh, like, the get rid of water tool? Oh yeah, reset seeds to water level. Water to sea level even. Okay, so we've got rid of all the on-land water. And the river is now... Flowing? Yeah, because I reset it. Okay, so I think... We have made a town. Sort of. Yes, we've met all the requirements. Oh, we don't have any forest areas, but we just we just won't have a forest industry. I just realized, if I got rid of the whole sea... Oh, no. It's just a weird, like... It just looks weird under the water. Just a strange-looking sea. Because it's all sand under the water. That looks disgusting. Do you think, is there a way to change that? Do you think? If I maybe lower... Oh, no, no. It was just... I don't know why it's giving me that weird view. Okay, so we're all done. We've got all that. The only thing we don't have, we don't have a forest. We don't have a plane path, or a ship path, or a train track. We should probably actually add those. So let's add a train track. Probably going alongside the highway would make sense. So just starting. It doesn't even need to be in the starting grid. No, it just needs to be somewhere. So if we have the train starting here, and then curving like this, Height's too high. Go down, then. Page down. Down. Nope. Height is still too high. Oh, it's not going to work. It's not It's not going to work out like that. Let's just ignore that. Okay. So, you've got the one highway coming in and up town. Oh, and it's underwater. <sighs> I don't know if that will affect it or not. Hopefully, it won't, because otherwise we're screwed. It goes, it starts there, and then it goes underwater, and then it comes back out again here. Sure. Whatever. Let's just get rid of those. We can have... Oh, we can draw the boat lines. How do you think this works? Water required. Is that now a boat path? Do they come to there and then go away again? I think that works. Yeah, I think that's a ship connection. And then a plane connection. Do I do the same thing? Do I just draw it on? Where would the planes land? Let's just let's just make the planes go like this. And then... Just make them like curve around the whole town. And like that. And then... Outwards. 
vehicle. Two or four plane connections used. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Can't demolish it though. Maybe I can. Oh, whoops. Okay, the planes are going to do weird things. I imagine the planes are actually going to get to here and then do a U-turn, but that should be fine. Okay, so I think we're now ready to actually found the town. If I could delete this plane line. There we go. Okay, so let's save this thing before I do anything bad to it. So save map as a... What the hell? Weird. Let's save that as a... Vader Island. Imaginative as always with my naming. Vader Island. Cool. Save. Publish new map and new game panel. Oh, yes. Yes, I would like that. Map name. Why does it have to do it twice? Oh, that's the save name. This is the whatever. Vader Island. Okay. We are now, sorry about this, ready to begin. So let's head on to the main menu. I got an achievement. Terraformer. For terraforming. For building land with my bare hands. Like some kind of Jesus. Okay. Uh, new game. Vader Island. Left-hand traffic, of course. City name, not Springfield. Uh, what did we call it last time? Do you guys have any suggestions for city name at all? Any any uh, requests? I'm happy to take them. I know there's a delay, so I'll give you, I'll give you a sec to say it. Goldshire. Okay, I'm just gonna go with that because it's the first one. Goldshire. I like gold. I like money, so that's fine by me. Let's begin. We want Moneyville. Sorry, it's already called Goldshire. The chat. It's annoying the chat lag. I find that really annoying. Anyway, so we've got our our awkward river, looking awkward as always, um, and our weird highway which stops here. I guess. No, I know, that's how, that's how it comes in anyway. The highway just always stops at that. So, we should build a town. So, we need to have residential and industry. So, this is going to be the industry side of town, because that's got all the, like, stuff. So, I'm going to start off the industry, like, up on this hill. We'll start off some farming industry, because we have fertile land. So, we start off with some roads. Let's not screw this up like last time. The thing I need to get right is the power grid. Um... Because the power grid is what I did really badly last time. So that's anyway. Let's connect these together is probably a good idea. Just like that. So they're now not a dead end. And then we're going to want to start making like a residential zone. So let's have... Oh, why is that now snapping like that? Snap sideways. Look, go, go, look. At a right angle to the map, not to the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, fine. We'll just... We'll go at right angle to this thing. I guess it just makes it easier. Hold the middle bass button to move up and down. What? Oh, okay, fine. If you can see, it's snapping between two really weird angles, and I don't know which one is straight. Oh, that's going to piss me off. Okay. Slope too steep. Slope too steep, and space already occupied. Whoa, I just noticed. Look at that road there. That's a, that's a drive and a half. It's fine going this way, but coming that way, I have a feeling the cars may hit a little bit of a wall. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll figure it out. I didn't really realize how steep this place I was making was. Yeah, I think I need to delete that because that's bad. That's not... Oh, damn it. That's not really going to work. So let's have a road coming like this. That can be our first residential road. I should actually make it a wider road because if this is like a main road. So let's have this going like that. Actually, let's have it... I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Let's have it going to there. It's like a main road. And then let's actually have this... Coming, we're going to have it like coming around the edge of the square. So the main, like when people are going between parts of the city, they'll go like round the edge of the square rather than through the middle of it, and hopefully they'll ease traffic. But for now, we'll do that, and we need to have a way for them. Wait, it's left-hand drive, but the highway is right-hand drive. Well, that's going to be confusing because I built the highway the wrong way around. Um, so we need to have another road. How many lanes is the highway? Three. So we need to have a one-way. I guess two-lane roads are the best we're going to get. Coming like this. This is going to do weird things. It's going to do really weird things. Yeah. So the people come in, and they come here in this weird junction where they then change to a left-hand drive road. 
Don't question it. Don't question it. It should work. It should work fine. So we have our one already really strange city block. Uh, so let's start building some residential zones. So I guess if we start zoning out, like, not there, because that's going to be the main road. So let's actually build the first bit of the main road, just so I know where it's going to be. So that's going to sit here. It's annoying it won't snap into, like, right angles with the, um, with the actual map itself. I'm really pissed at that. I didn't, I didn't realize you need to make the highways at right angles. But anyway, let's have that like that. And then the people roads are going to be at right angles of this. So actually, let's do it like, like this. That'll be the first one. But let's not have it connect because that'll make really awkward things happen. So let's do it like that. And I guess if we go to there and then come back, that makes it the right size. Yep. And then another one to there. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god, it doesn't snap in the right place. There we go. There. And that should probably be enough residential to start with. I don't want to spend too much money on roads because I think that was what I did wrong last time. So let's put some residential zone down before I run out of money. So residential, fill, fill, fill. And also there, and there, and there, and here. So hopefully people will start moving in. And we'll get some money. Let's speed up time so we're going at slow speed at the moment. Can people live there? Would they want to live there? Let's not because I don't think they would want to live there. So people are moving in. Uh, we are going to need some industry. So if I continue the big, this road, going this way, like this, that's going to cost a lot of money, but hopefully it should be for the best. So we'll have this going to about there. That's about as far as it needs to go. And then we'll have another road coming like this. Probably the whole way up here is probably sensible. Going like that. And across. Actually, how far across should it be? That's probably fine that and then let's fill that with industry industry so last time when i did the power i tried to be all like green and have a what do we call it like have wind turbines but i think wind turbines are not very cost effective when you're first starting out so we're gonna not do that this time and if it's more cost effective we're just gonna have a lovely dirty one of these that costs nineteen thousand, you get 40 megawatts this costs six thousand, and you get up to eight megawatts so that's like one and a third your money back and that's over two so that that's much more cost effective so i'll stick one of these in the industry zone we'll just stick it sort of here probably makes sense actually space of the road to come out there that looks good got that there and then we need power lines just coming along this main road here so just oh, no wait no they need to be coming across here because they can't really cross the road properly so let's have power lines going like this there and then just down here we'll hopefully that is good and then we need the water system so let's have water towers um can we pump out of this river will that work it's a huge it's a huge tall pump but i think it still works so let's stick one of these as high upstream as we can get it oh that looks really strange that looks really strange hopefully it doesn't screw up the river too much let's stick that there and then we've got the pipes and they'll just go like this right into the middle should Fill the whole zone. Cool, cool, cool. And then go down here, and then we just follow the main road down. Follow the road. Probably not the yellow brick road, just the. Follow the six lane road. Less catchy song. Okay, there we go. So that's all that zone. Filled of water and filled of electricity. So hopefully people should be happy, and they should be moving in. What are you talking about? Oh, am I. I've already unlocked all the stuff I unlocked last time. Oh no, no, I haven't. They just want a sewage outflow. They want one of these. So we want one of these downstream. Annoyingly, we can't stick it in the sea yet. So let's just... Oh, congratulations! We're already a little hamlet. I don't know how quickly we did that last time, but I have a feeling it wasn't that quick. But I think that's probably because I had no idea what I was doing last time, and I have slightly more of an idea this time, but still still not really any. So we have a population of 400 people. We can now change taxes, uh, get some loans, do garbage disposal, healthcare, and education. And we get, obviously, garbage disposal, healthcare, and education buildings. So, uh... Let's not do that. So last time, I know I changed the taxes down straight away. But I have a feeling that may have been detrimental because I think people are fine with 9% tax. But I basically halved it. So I was just giving myself half the money f to make people happy. But they didn't even need to be happier because they're already perfectly adequate with their living situation. So that was a bit stupid. So anyway, let's get the water outflow pipe. Stick it down here. As far down as I can get it. There. And then we just need to spend money on pipes. But hopefully that's fine. So pipe going like this. And then connect that back in to there. All good. Okay, so we've got sewage disposal. Sewage treatment, should I say. Once it's all connected. 
Is that all connected? It should be. It is that even? Oh, it needs power. Ah, ah. Issue. Okay. That goes down here and then to there. And then hopefully that works when they all turn blue. So cool the way they all turn blue like that. I like that. And that turns on. And now, yeah, sewage treatment in the green. So that's all good. So we got water, we got power, we got sewage, but they already want waste disposal. Because I'm, I'm expanding faster than I can deal with it. So where should we put the dumps? Can I get a road, you think, going around here? Let's try and fit one in around there. Let's try and get a lovely little road. I should probably have it slightly bigger, actually. Let's have a road going like this. It's not going to get, it's not going to fit in there, I don't think. Or it's going to make like a really expensive bridge. Oh, whatever. I don't care. It looks cool. Sort of. Let's have that going like that. That's spending like all the money I have, but it'll be useful in the future. And we'll get a landfill here. Let's actually have it there. Does that need electricity too? Please don't say it needs electricity. There's no reason for that. I don't think it does. I think that's the one sensible thing. Everything else needs electricity. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> okay, the game did not enjoy that. It let me do it, but it didn't like it. Not one little bit. Okay, so that's all good. We've got landfill. We've got our cool little bridge. I guess it has different bridge styles. I like that. So I guess this is the bridge over valley bridge. And that's a... I can't show you, but like that's what it looks like when you do a bridge over water. And they look different. So that's kind of cool. So that's cool we've got that road there. That means if we want to expand this way, we've already got the connection. So that's pretty good. So what do we have a demand for? We have a demand for commercial zones. So let's actually have a commercial zone. What do you mean you've got no water? What do you mean you've got no water? Water availability. What happened to it? got no power. Why? Power availability. Ah! Okay then. Yeah. That would that would hinder that. I guess if we just made someone move in here it would work, but no one has moved in there. So I just need to have a power line like this. That's all I need. I just need a power line from here to there. Not enough money. I've already screwed it up! Just move in! Just I need the industry just to move in real quick and it will all be good. I just need someone to build a house here. Right here. Ah. Oh, I don't want to take a loan already. This is so dumb. It's so dumb having to rely on the zones and then they take them away again. Actually, no, they don't take them away. They just become abandoned. Yeah, I guess there was never a zone there. I'm just stupid. Um, I think we may have to take a loan, it looks like. So let's take this loan because it's the only one we can get. And with that loan, we're going to build a power line, which we'll probably instantly have to demolish because it'll be in the way, but whatever. Build that to there. Now, actually, let's do it here because I don't think that one will connect. Let's do that. Like that. That should be fine. Is that connected? It should be. Yep, that's connected. So we now have water. Water for everybody. All good. Everyone's happy. Okay, so we have demand for commercial zone. So we should probably build some commercial zones. So let's have them coming off this road. So let's actually have a sort of big road like this. Like that. Gonna cut the power lines in half. Let's not do that. And off. Oh my god! Oh, that slope is gonna be so annoying. And then off that, we just have roads going like this to here then up again. Yep. And we'll do one more. Let's just come across here, actually. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's fill that with commercial. Commercial. Nice. So this is going to be, we're going to have residential, commercial, and industry over here. So we've actually still got tons of demand for commercial. Are they moving in? It's just going slow speed. They should be moving in, but they're going to want water, I think. So let's give them some. i just do a pipe like that. If that one house there isn't covered... No, it is covered. That's all fine. Okay, they should be all covered, actually, if anyone's been trying to move in here. They need water too. Ooh, good. Okay, cool. They've got power, I think. Yeah, they've got power because it's connected zones. And they've got water. So they should be happy. So actually, we want more residential now. I think... This is a better way to do the tanks. I think last time I built too many roads and stuff too soon. And that's what screwed it over. So I think doing it like this is better. So let's get more more roads. Oh, I did it perfect first time. Because I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Let's get down here. I should just do another one as well. Like that. And then like that. 
And then down to here, but there's actually no rotor to connect onto. Boom. Awesome. Then, residential. Nice. I think this town, I just feel like it's going better. I think we've got doing a good job here. Okay. Water. That's actually too close. Let's be economical of our water pipes. Oh, god damn it, I was just about to place a thing. A worthy village. Population of 800 people. What did we get up to last time? Guess who's back? Hey there, HPH9999. Um, I'm trying to remember what we got up to last time, what type of town. It was called something like a boom town or something like that, I think. And we had a population of some thousands. I don't know what it was. So we are now a worthy village, 800 people. We're now allowed to buy a new area. We can get districts, policies, second loan, industry specialization, service policies, many other things. The fire department, but really they don't do anything. Police department, unique buildings, forestry, agriculture, power, water, smoke detector, distribution, firehouse and police station so instantly they're gonna want a firehouse I can just tell because apparently people don't like burning to death I don't know why so let's stick a thing oh my god it's so hard to get them in the right place let's go on like that I think it was 4,000 uh, I think it was around that I'm just trying to remember what the name was I'm, I'm not entirely sure okay have they got power yeah they got power because it's all a connected zone okay so let's build a firehouse because people are gonna start complaining so we're going to want a firehouse roughly around here or around here. We should probably actually connect these two roads together, I think. We should probably actually connect this road with this road. I think if we have this here, that if we go out here by one one thing, do I have enough money for this? i got 20 grand. It should be enough. So we have this coming out here. And then we have this road coming out here. So it's like one big city block. And that connects to that. Hopefully that's not some weird angle. That is a weird angle because it makes the zone stop. Whatever. So uh, yeah, those are connected. And then we need a firehouse. Can I even afford the firehouse? Yeah, we need the firehouse. <sighs> Look, if I do it here, it doesn't cover the houses. And if I do it here, it doesn't cover the industry. But I don't want to connect these roads together. I feel like it will do bad things. I'm just going to connect them together because I feel like I need to. So that should be good. And now, if I put the fire department down... Yeah, everyone's happy! Okay, so let's have the fire department here. Yes! Many smiley faces all around. And also, let's have one here, because industry just love setting fires and then leaving them going for lunch, apparently. Oh, I can't. I can't afford it. But we are making money. We are making many thousands of whatever currency there is per week. So that's good. It keeps slowing it down. I don't know what it is I press that slows it down, but it's really nice. Let's speed that up. They're complaining about waste disposal. No, no, it's fine. So what do we have demand for? Not really anything. We've got a tiny bit of demand for houses, but they're still unused housing lots, so that's good. Remember, new services. I know, but I don't have the money. So let's see. Um, education costs 10000 Healthcare costs 10000 Actually, the fire department also costs 12000 Okay, fine. Let's see if this fire department is actually doing anything. They're running four fire engines. Can I see the fire engines? They're probably around here somewhere. Amanda Price on fake Twitter says, When is our city going to build a hashtag school of its own? When we can afford it, Amanda? Being so goddamn greedy. Just just go to the library or something. We don't have a library, but just use the internet. I don't know. Okay, we are now a tiny town. Population of 1,200. Uh, we can now make decoration, level 2 unique buildings, pet ban, smoking ban, parks and recreation. Yeah, yeah, we did this last time. Purple Vader. This is not Purple Vader. This is a new town. So, uh, Purple Vader died last time. Where's that there? I thought that was words, like a district, but it's actually a bridge, which I placed just now. So, this is the new town. What is this new town called? Oh, it's called, uh... It's called Goldshire. It says there, that's the town name. It's called Goldshire, but we are on Vader Island, which I would show you, but I'm not allowed to zoom out to look at it. This is as far as I'm allowed to zoom out. I can go like this. You can see... You can see sort of what it looks like if I spin it round. So, we were in the map editor... We made this map. This lovely, lovely map, which has some oil and stuff. And some ore, so that's all good. Okay, cool. So, uh, what do we want next? There's sort of a small demand for everything. Oh, we have like 30 grand. When the hell did that happen? I'll do the districts in a sec. So, we probably want... What do you think the people want? Healthcare? Healthcare or education? Uh, I'll do one of those. You, you guys decide which. I'm just going to set up the districts while, that's, while you're deciding. Let's put a district. 
Let's put one here. It's like the housing district. Let's see what it calls it. Daffodil Park! That's quite a nice name. Actually, do you think we can rename them? There must be a way to rename them. If I... Do you think... Ah, uh, paint the part. There must be a way. It's just withholding it from me because it hates me. It hates me so much. What the fuck? I made it. I've made another thing in the middle of that thing. That's kind of cool, actually. If you right-click, you can make a district. Oh no! If you right-click, it deletes it. So I just right-clicked it. Oh, stop doing stupid things! Look, take that up. Go. Daffodil Park. All good. Let's make another district. Stop it. A building has burned down. That's no surprise. That's not the first time that's ever happened. Let's make this a district too. So this up here, it's going to be called Sheffield Square. What a fancy name. Uh, try the right click on the name. No, 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 right clicking deletes things. Maybe if I do this. What happens if I right click with the erase tool? Nothing. Um, oh, do you think it's in the policy screen? Yeah, because policies apply to different... So, oh, look, there it is. Ah, oh, I'm a genius. So if you go in the policy screen, you can then click on districts. We can rename them. So what should this district be called? Guys, I want you to I want you to decide on my two districts. I'll just use the first suggestion as this one, the second suggestion as that one, so we'll do it like that. Good job, fireman, get the promotion. Yeah. Fireman sucks so bad in this game. Well at least nothing's burned down here, so I guess this fire station's working. Let's put the other fire station and other fire station up here. I guess the industry's gonna expand um that way. So let's have the fire station here. But look, if I put it, if I put it here, oh no, that covers all of them. Yeah, let's just not block off the the road. Let's put it there. I don't want to block the road. That should be good. That should be good. Okay, cool. They're not happy still. The buildings are still red. They're just so dangerous. Industry just keeps burning down. It's so ridiculous. Do you think I can add a policy to this place? Policies. Let's add a policy to Sheffield Square. There are no residents in this district. Policies. Policies? No. Maybe I'm not allowed to do policies if there's no people who live there. That's weird. Do you think I can add one here? Fireman Sam. You want that as a district name? Fireman Sam. I can't add policies. It won't let me do it. That's really weird. Really strange. I don't know then. No specialization. I don't know. Oh yeah, we should tell this to be an agriculture specialization because I made this all fertile land in the map editor. So let's tell this to be no, no, that one agricultural, there you go they'll probably change all their buildings now, just watch as they all like demolish their buildings and build new silos and stuff there we go, they're doing it already just don't screw up with the zoning do not screw up the zones by deleting everything oh the power's gonna go out the power's gonna go out I'm just, I'm calling it now the zone gets smaller when they delete the buildings Mm -mm. You stupid, stupid people. Oh my god, don't do it. Don't do it, you morons. Build more industry. I shouldn't have done anything. I should have just left it. Ah. Uh, let's connect these together while we still have money. Okay, that's all good. The power plant's there. So as long as this zone stays like that, the power's still connected. But if this pylon is no longer in a zone, then uh, the power's not connected. I think it's fine. What do you think they're building? I think it's going to be some kind of silo thing. Like a farm silo. Oh god. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. These goddamn... These goddamn zones. Their goddamn power screwing me over. Oh, please. Just someone build here and then someone build there and it connects that to that. I think it's fine because I think this bit of zone here is being made by that building and that's connected to there. If you see what I mean. Like the power goes from here to here to here and it's all connected. I think it's fine. That's that's what kept screwing me over last time. Taxylvania and Wienerland. Okay then, let's do that. Taxylvania. Taxylvania for where the people live seems seems apt. Taxel. I can't type. I keep missing the shift. Taxylvania and. Oh, I didn't do it. I guess I need to hit enter. Sorry. Yes. Cool. And Wienerland. Mature. <laughs> How do you spell that? Sausage land. Lovely. That's actually not sausage in German, is it? Versus the sausage. Is the power still connected? Has the power gone out? Oh, it is. By the tiniest bit. We've only got one piece of industry now. 
Oh, I completely screwed myself over by doing that. That was a stupid thing to do. Hopefully, the industry will come back. Hopefully, it will come back. I'm actually going to expand this district because if we build any more industry and then they go to non-agricultural, but then I later tell them to be agricultural, that will be bad. So, let's expand Wienerland. So, if they build any more industry, it's going to be agricultural straight away. Let's actually put it straight for the river like that. That makes sense. Ah. Uh, Actually, the firehouse has no water, which is probably uh, not aiding their ability to be a firehouse. Let's just have the water going along the road. There we go. That should be good. Ow, stupid. Oh, no one's moving back in. Ah, oh, maybe I should just change it back to generic industry, but it's such fertile, fertile land. It's lovely fertile. Let's actually get the overlays up. Uh, which one's the land overlay? Natural resources. Look. Look how fertile all this land is. But they, uh, maybe it's just too hilly or something like that, I think. It's probably the problem. No, people are moving in, but very slowly. I wonder what they're building. What is that? What did they just build? Maybe they were demolishing things instead. Let's get rid of this overlay. There's nothing there. I don't know what the red zones are showing me. I have no idea what those red zones are showing me. Really weird. Oh, maybe it means it's like land set aside for growing crops. Maybe that's what red means. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we've got slightly more demand for commercial, so I'm going to put some more commercial in. So I think we should be able to get some in... Oh, wait, actually. Let's... How should we do this? Probably if we make another road... If we make another road coming sort of here, it's the best way to do it. So, we want to line these up. Oh, nailed it. Look at that. Okay, let's get in there. They're slightly off, but it's fine. Let's have that like that. Let's actually come this way. To there. And to there. All good. And then let's fill that with commercial. Commercial! Yes! Industry. Not industry. Shops. For making monies and spending monies and stuff like that. Okay, shops and shops. Shops and shops and many more shops. All good. Low happiness. Ah, that's not good. Just came back and I'm very confused. Someone gave me an update. What was the last thing you saw? Um, if you tell me what the last thing I did was, then I can I can fill you in from there. Also, can people uh, people are complaining about crime. Oh, we can we can afford we can afford some uh, police stations. If I stick a police station right in the centre of this zone, right next to the fire station, is probably sensible. Put it there. That looks good. Uh, industry doesn't care about crime. Terraforming. Oh, that was a while ago. Okay, so uh, we finished the island. I would show you all of it, but... Airplane routes. Yeah, yeah, so we finished the island. Uh, you can't see it because I'm allowed to move the camera outside the box, which is kind of annoying. We finished the island. We founded the town. So we founded the town of Goldshire, which is uh, the only... No, the first suggestion I just went with. Um, so we've got the town of Goldshire on Vader Island. When will you do more Tori Bash? Soon. But, like, there's only so much you can do in that game. Like, if I did it every week I'd run out of stuff to do honestly you don't you don't want me to do it too much It'll, it will get bad so I want to I leave it as a special thing and hopefully you guys enjoy my other stuff as well I'm assuming you're here because because you like seeing me play other games as well so I will play more Tori Bash but you're just gonna have to be patient okay people are still complaining about crime is the police station actually doing anything oh it's operating normally let's look at the crime overlay no it's apparently good I don't know why they're still complaining then just here, just just right here, the crime is all bad. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, we founded the town, and we've got our residential commercial zone here, and we've got industry zone here, but then we changed it to a farming industry, and it's taking ages for the farming industry to come back again, but they are slowly building more farms. Very, very slowly. Like, oh my god, what are they farming? They're farming trees. I guess there's an orchard, it must be doesn't actually say. Oh, it's Orchard Company. Orchard Company. Mary's Livestock. She's growing pigs. Same there. That's actually kind of cool. You can see the name of the shops. Let's see the name of the shops down here. We got Quiet Corner Shop. Drug Store. That's not a very descriptive name. General Store. Oh, okay, fine. Convenience Store. Neighborhood Shop. They don't give them cool names. I thought they'd have like... Oh, what the hell? What happened to the water? Maybe we just... What happened to the water? What are you guys talking about? Oh no, did the water lose power? 
No? I don't know. Why are they saying they've got no water then? Look, they're connected by the pipes. You're connected by the pipes! And it says the water availability is good. So I don't get it. I really don't get it. Hmm. I don't know if I want to add another... Let's just add a water tower. Just sort of here. See if that helps in any way. No, that needs power too. You're right next to a power line. Oh, there you go. You have power. Do you think this will shut them up? I can see why they're complaining about lack of water. Because it's not connected. But I don't know what the other people are complaining about. They're just complaining for the sake of it, I think. Bastard. Let's do that to there. Good. Stick this pipe up here. We've got that tiny triangle there, but hopefully that's fine. So I don't know what they were complaining about with the water. Because this thing says we've got tons of water available. So I don't know what was happening. Maybe, oh, actually, I don't have that much money. Remember that you can build parks. Oh, parks don't cost too much. Maybe I should put a park in. That's the cheapest one. Small park. How small is it? Not that small, actually. Maybe I should stick a park sort of here. Make people happy. Slope too steep. <laughs> Apparently not, then. Can I put it up here? Slope too steep. Can I put it here? Slope too steep. Nope. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, I could put it there, but it's going to destroy those people's houses. But it would look nice, surrounded by houses. Um. Um. No. No, no. It doesn't. It doesn't want me to build a park. I can put it here, but that's not really gonna appease many people. And also, I don't really want to have a park on the side of a main road. That's probably not a good idea. Actually, we'll stick one. Slope too steep. Oh, you bastards! Ah, we can put it there, but that's where the road needs to go. Have a park there. We'll just build around it. We'll figure this out. So we need more uh, residential zone. Because we run out of that. So let's just have it coming out of here. Coming around there. And then down. That's going to destroy the thing. God damn you and your parks. Okay. So let's just... We need to come a tiny bit more out. Because the park is... Let's just... The park has completely screwed this whole thing up. Like that. Yeah, there we go. And then it goes past the park. So that's all good. Is that in line? That's in line. Okay, we want to have the big road connecting up. Big road coming further. Space ready occupied. We'll connect up to it then. And then come further this way. Let's spend three grand on that road. An investment for the future. And then we'll stick some more residential zone in here. And also there, but I imagine that's too steep for them. We'll see. We'll see if they figure it out or not. Actually, that's in the commercial zone. You're in the commercial zone. There. That's pretty fine. All good. So yeah, Archie, I think when you tell them to build in a steep slope, they just make more ground, if you see what I mean. Yeah, they just like, they level the ground off. That's kind of cool. Have those sort of like, um, terraced houses. I like that. Also, the roads look super weird. It's like the San Francisco, that famous road. I don't know what it's called. I like that though, when it goes up. I think that's kind of cool. We can have like some cool car chase scenes. I can rent my town out as like a movie set. I don't think that's an option though, unfortunately. These people complain they don't have enough workers. They're probably complaining the workers aren't educated enough, so we should probably build a school. But schools are expensive, so we're not going to do that yet. We're going to build more roads and just cram in more citizens. I mean, um, make housing available to more citizens. So then we can get more money from taxes, because I like money. Let's actually fill that in with this. There we go. Fill. And not there yet. Let's build another road. But I don't want to run out of money. It's going up. It's going up. It should be fine. I want to start doing some fancy road stuff, but we need tons of money to, in order to do that. Also, I realise the time has slowed down again. Who keeps stopping the time? I don't know what's slowing it down. There's one option I must be pressing that slows the time down to slow to so like to one out of three. But I don't know what it is that does it. It's really annoying me. Oh yeah, they need water. Sorry guys, water for you. Okay, let's do that for there, and then coming out like that, and coming out. Nope, too much. There. Oh, perfect. Sort of. Ah, that's good. They've got water. People can move in. Everyone's happy. This is a kind of cool looking town on the side of a hill. Alright, that's cool like that. Julie Cooper on fake Twitter says, At police offers small hat. Oh, god damn it, whatever. Storage spaces with secure doors for rent. Oh, I see what they're saying about. Maybe it's just because the crime rate's so low, so that's probably a good thing. 
So that's kind of cool. I think this town is definitely started off better than yesterday's town because yesterday's town did not go well well it went well for like i must have played for about three hours it was fine for about three hours but i want a lasting town that can get to like fill this island we have towering skyscrapers and cool things like that that would be nice not just not some crappy town of like four thousand people that goes bankrupt that's not good what are these guys complaining about they're saying oh no they're not complaining i think they were saying a good thing cool I still like it looks like it's kind of like we have a waterfall going in here but the water just magically appears out of that rock I maybe should have made it so this whole thing was filled with water whatever let's just it's just like a tiny tiny lake and the waterfall comes out of the lake it does look quite cool though Vader Falls I need to stop naming stuff after myself I think because uh, it's not the most imaginative place to live when everything's just called Vader it reminds you who built it, though. It reminds you who your lord and saviour is. Me. And no one should ever forget that. Okay, they're complaining they don't have jobs. But you're an empty field. How many people does it take to work an empty field? I guess those are also things. They just don't have a fence around it. Okay, so we need more people. And yeah, it's saying we need more residential. So when you build residential, that's when people move into the town. So more residential, more people to work in the orchards, to grow my apples and other things all good and actually we're making money I think we're doing this well today let's just check that we're not running out of water water availability is good sewage treatments getting dangerously low and electricity availability is bad let's get on that quickly more power plants so I have enough money oh okay boom town reach population of 2200 so we can now unlock another area uh, we can do public transport level three unique buildings buses or industries uh, recycling, recreational, various drug use, and then many types of interchange. I made my own interchange. I'll show you that later. Uh, I did. I did spend some. Uh, I did spend some time trying to trying to make my own interchange, and I'll show you what I came up with. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Uh, and also, unique buildings. We have unlocked the statue of shopping, Plaza of the Dead, Lazarus Plaza, many things. Statue of Wealth. That would be cool. But we need to have 500,000 monies, which we don't have. I should probably actually... Actually, no, I probably shouldn't delete those. Because if I delete them, inevitably, then these zones will go away and we'll have a bad time. So let's not do that. We need to make a new power plant. So this thing costs 19 grand. Oh, I have 44 grand because you get money when you level up. I forgot about that. So let's stick that... Actually, maybe the agriculture doesn't want to be next to a coal power plant. Ah... That makes so much sense. Where's the pollution thing? That's noise pollution. Apparently farms are super noisy. Uh, where's air pollution if there is such a thing? Wind. Oh, it's super windy here. I've made the windiest town ever. This would make more sense to actually put down wind farms. Whatever. Pollution. There it is. So yeah, there's lots of pollution here. So I can see why people don't actually want to farm here. But that's actually pretty much pollution free. So I don't know why they're not farming there. I think it would have made more sense to not have a farming industry, but we've got it now, so let's not do it. So actually, I might turn to wind power, because if you look, it's like I've made the windiest island in the world. This is pretty much one of the highest points on the island here, and then up on that giant plateau, which, I, which you can't actually see. But I imagine that'll be windy up there too. So let's get... Oh yeah, that... These wind farms go in the sea, don't they? And we don't have any sea. So we can't do that. Should we, should we buy another zone? I think we should buy another zone. How do you buy another zone? Oh, it's down here. It's this thing. We should probably buy... Um, we should buy one that allows us the sea. Maybe this one? Do you think that's a cool one to go into? I think that's a cool one to go into. I'm going to buy that. That costs 2300 Nice and cheap. Let's buy that. And then, we can have some lovely sea wind farms. Because I think they look cool. So let's stick one of these. Top down. Let's just put it here. Actually, let's put it as far away from shore as we can. Because we want to save the shore for harbours and stuff if we need to build any of those. So let's put one of those. And actually, because then we have to spend money on all the power lines and stuff. So maybe we should just have the onshore one. No, but this produces so much more. Or I could just go coal, and that produces tons. Let's just go coal power plant. It produces so much electricity, it's kind of stupid not to do it. So let's stick this over here with the uh, out of city limits. That's annoying. With the landfill. So we'll have the landfill, the landfill and the uh, power plant side of town. So let's do that there. And then we just have power lines.
coming round the edge, I guess. Bottom one. Oh. If you were saying bottom one when we're looking at it like this, I mean the other way around, then sorry, but I did it wrong. It's so annoying this chat delay, because I ask questions and then I have to wait for ages to get the answers and then I've already like answered the question myself. It's kind of annoying. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's get power lines. Can we just stick them going across like this? Yeah, it looks weird, but it's cheap. As it's cheap, so let's just do it. <laughs> that looks strange. Look at that! What a lovely piece of architecture. Just the pole with the pylon. Lovely. The pylon pole. I'm going to patent that. Vader's patented pylon pole. For all your high height pylon needs. Um, yeah, I'm not... I don't work in marketing. I think there's a reason. Anyway, we need more... Uh, that perfect segue. We need more residential zones. So let's continue this road. Ah, da, 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 da. Spending all my money on roads. And then... All these... I should. Re I want to build like a cool, a roundabouty thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where am I? The Omni Bout. So that's what I made earlier. I made the Omni Bout. It's like a roundabout, but it doesn't just go around. It goes in every direction. Therefore, it is the Omni Bout. Um. So when we get to 4,000 population, I can show the Omni Bout. It doesn't actually look like the shape in that picture. So I don't know why the silhouette is that shape. Weird. Uh. But for now, I want to try using a roundabout. So I'm gonna stick a roundabout there. Because roundabouts look cool. And then off the roundabout we have a road going to there. But it does do weird things with the zones. But they look cool. But it does do weird things with the zones. Oh, it'll be fine. People can live on the roundabout too. So that's all good. And actually we'll have another road going like this. Hopefully the roundabout eases traffic in some way. I'm not entirely sure if it does or doesn't. Roundabouts are cool. Every British person loves roundabouts. So I just thought, have to place one. I didn't even get the chance to use them last time. I'm gonna leave the I'm not gonna put any houses in the middle because that's weird no one's live in a roundabout. That's all good. People moving in, there's still demand. There's actually slightly more demand for industry, so I might put some more industry down. Um I might just have another road coming like here. Nope. Here. Oh yes! Come in here. Going up to about there. And then coming back down. We'll have another industry zone. Right there. There. Cool. Industry! Is that in this district? Oh, it is, so it should be agricultural. Should be. Fingers crossed. Oh no, too much, too much. Don't build there. Don't do that. No, no, no. No agriculture for you. I don't really want the industry going any further that way. Uh, next time we can afford it, I will expand up to the top. Or maybe that way, sideways. One of those two, and then we'll expand the industry that way. Away from the houses. We'll expand houses this way industry that way. All good. Okay, they're complaining in the water. I'll sort you out, guys. Don't worry about that. Let's just expand this. Up there should be fine for now. Nope. Nope, tiny gap. Oh, that's probably fine. So there. Actually, the same thing. Come on. Just snap in the right place the first time. Okay, there we go. That should be good. You have water. Oh no, water availability. No, what? You, there's so much water available. There's so much. Look at it. It's so far into the green. It's off the chart how much water is available to you. I think people just don't even know how to turn the taps on sometimes. I think that might be their problem. Anyway, let's actually let's actually fill this thing up with a uh, commercial zone. I don't really know why I didn't do that. Because I'll need to drive a road through there a bit, but not that much. So let's do that. Let's do this. And all around here. It can be commercial for now, but I'll probably stick another road. Actually, let's just do that now. Stick one more road. Sort of like this. Cool. And actually, let's connect it to there as well. And then, we just fill in all of this commercial. Yes. And actually, on there as well. If they, if they can manage to build there, they can build commercial. Put that commercial too. Okay, cool. Actually, they're going to complain about water as well. Oh, no. I should, they should be fine. I think I've done that or, enough. That should be good. What do you mean? You have water. Okay, let's put another one of these water pumpy places down. Stick it. Here? Or here? It's actually in water. That's in water, definitely. So let's do it there. Come on. This is going to look so strange when it's placed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's going to look so weird. Let's just stick it there. That should be fine. And then connect it via pipes. 
to that one. That should be all good. Is that connected via electricity? Definitely. It definitely should be, but it probably won't be. It looks good. It looks like the wire from that pylon just glances over the edge of that zone. So I think it should be powered. But probably it won't. I just signed a petition to hashtag build a hashtag school in our city. Oh yeah, that might be a good idea. How much does the school cost? It costs 10,000. Let's build one. So where are the most of the people live? Most of the people live around here. So let's put the school here? Sort of central to the town. Stick it more like there. Yes! Smiles all around. So we can have all the people here and all the like the the uh, services stuff we can just stick along this road here. So we can put a thing there. If they need another fire station, we'll stick it here. High school can go next door. All good. That should be all good. How much does a high school cost? 24 grand. I don't have 24 grand. It's slowed down time again. Who keeps doing that? Guys, I want you to look out. I hate laundry. <laughs> I hate laundry too. Laundry sucks. That's why I just wear all my clothes like three times and then I wash them. I wash them when you can smell them from about a five meter distance. That's that's when you need to wash them. What do you mean no water? You have water. Oh no, you don't have water. There we go. Now you have water. You should do. And you have electricity. Catch you away for an hour? How much laundry were you doing? That is weird. Okay. Actually, we can probably delete some of these pylons now because there's a zone there. So let's delete that bit. And no, not that bit though. Annoyingly. So that's all good. They've got power. Everyone's got water. Uh, no one has healthcare, but shh. Uh, policing seems good, but not down this part of town. Fire is good if you live there. Healthcare. Oh yeah, again. In the uh, education, not great. Do, do any children even live here? We have 372 eligible kids. Oh, that means we have more kids than there is space in school. Okay, we need to make some money, but the money is going up. We're getting two grand a week, so we just need to sort of wait. So should we make another primary school next door, do you think? Will that will that ease people? Then there'll be like rival primary schools and they can play football matches and stuff. Like a friendly rivalry. Or maybe a bitter rivalry and then the kids will grow up and stab each other. That would be bad if that were to happen. Anyway, let's put... Actually, we should probably sort healthcare first. I think. Slope too steep. There we go. Let's put a clinic there. And then when we can afford it, how much does it cost? It costs eight grand. When we can afford it, we'll stick a cemetery. We'll put it down by the sea, because that's a nice a nice scenic place to die. Or maybe we'll put it by the landfill, because you know, landfill, dead bodies, it's really the same thing. It just depends on what you're sticking in the ground. Okay, how is the landfill doing? The landfill is 20% full. This, this town isn't actually producing that much garbage. When we can afford it, I mean, when we unlock it, we get one of those, but we need 6,000 people. Oh, so definitely, um, we definitely had 6,000 people last time because we definitely bought an incineration plant. So I think we had around six or 8,000 people last time. That's what we had. Also, a bus depot. Oh, I want to build some transport routes. That'd be so cool. But we can't afford it. We cannot afford it. So these... Oh, that building burnt down. These guys are complaining they have no workers. There's just not enough people. Okay, we need to build more housing zones. So uh, let's actually make all this space here residential too. So let's continue the highway, this highway. Not a highway, but like a main road. Let's continue this down to here. And then we'll just have these roads coming across. I can make these one-way roads, actually, but that might do bad things. Mm. I might make this one-way road, see if it goes well. So if I do one of them like this, and then one of them like this, and then one of them like this, and then one of them like this. Yep. And then actually this one should definitely not be one way road because that will screw up the roundabout. And that should be good. So let's now fill these in with residential. 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 I'll put that one commercial. Residential. Residential. Now on iTunes. Okay, cool. And commercial right there. Looks good. People are happy. They got no water. People are unhappy. Oh, they have water. These guys, however, don't. There's a new piece of land available for purchase. I know, but I have I, I have enough money. But I need to save it for other, more important things for now. It would be nice to just get to a point in this game where I have so much money that I can just start fucking around and doing stuff, whatever. Who should I call if if someone, no one shows up to pick up the dead? So people are complaining there's too many dead bodies, which is, I guess, actually a valid, a valid issue. 
So when we have eight grand, we'll put down a cemetery. Um, I think I think we'll put the cemetery over here, just because no, it doesn't really matter where it is. No one really cares if the dead body is next to the coal forward. Coal blah 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 blah. blah. No. Okay. Eight, oh, we have eight grand. That went way quicker than I was imagining. I was thinking that a cemetery was under waste disposal. That's not very kind. It's under healthcare. It's not really. It's not really health, is it? It's sort of what happens when healthcare goes wrong. Let's continue this road. This road should actually be probably bigger than that. It's a two-lane road. But anyway, let's continue this. Let's actually upgrade it to a six-laner. We'll take it down here. Oh, no, that costs, like, many monies. That costs many monies. Let's just take it to there. Just to remind future me that I want that to be a six-lane road. And then we'll stick a cemetery next to it. Right here. Slope too steep. Oh, god damn it! How... I've seen hillside cemeteries before. It's not that bad. Look, the landfill... The landfill's on an extremely steep, uh, steep slope. Why can't the cemetery do it too? Maybe the cemetery's not going to be over there. Maybe the cemetery's going to be over here. Slope too steep. Maybe it's not. Building must be placed by a roadside. <sighs> it turns out I'm not the best at building an island. Oh, I can put it there. And apparently it makes people happy. Oh no, just it serves the dead needs. A building is leveling up. It serves the dead needs of all these people, I think is what that's showing. Yes, there. Cemetery. All good. I guess people don't mind living next to cemeteries. Look at our lovely suburban neighbourhoods we've got going on. What have we got here? The Franklin residence. The Woodland residence. The Walnut residence. The Dale residence. The Belmont residence. I'm not going to read them out, don't worry about that. Okay, I think that's all good. Oh, sewage! Sewage has gone bad! Okay, yeah, sewage treatment, not good. So where's the sewage outflow? Sewage outflow is here, but really, actually, we should have it coming out here now because we can get it closer to the water. So let's put it in the sea. Actually, I have a feeling, because you can see, like, this is the flow rate, but I have a feeling when it gets to here, it, like, stops flowing, it just stagnates. So we're just going to have a whole big old pool of sewage. So this should definitely not be... Uh, the part of the town where we have our like tourist seaside resort. We should probably do that in that bay there because this bay is going to be full of crap. So let's just stick the sewage out. We may as well just stick it next to this one to be honest. It doesn't really make any difference. It all goes, it all ends in the same place. Let's just stick that there. It's already connected to the water pipes. So we need to make more water pipes. Sewage treatment, all good. Let's just check. Electricity. Ah, it's getting dangerous again. I build another coal fired power plant when I have 19 grand, which is actually going to be quite soon. I'm definitely, I'm definitely doing this better. I think you guys have to agree that this is going much, much better than yesterday. Okay, 19 grand. Oh, we want more industry too. We'll do that in a sec. We'll get more electricity because I imagine industry, even uh, orchards, use up tons of electricity. Okay, cool. One of these. Stick it there. Cool. Good. Okay, let's make some more industry zones. Alright, I need to build roads first, don't I? Maybe I should actually expand the thing. So we should expand uh, one of these two ways. I love how the smell of dead bodies in the morning. 2015, the guy lives near the graveyard. Yeah. I don't, I know. There's actually quite a few graveyards like, in the middle of cities. There's definitely quite a few in the center of London. I know of. And literally people live like over the road. They're basically just parks that have dead people in. Really. I mean. And the de it's not that like dead people are lying on the ground. They're under it. Like, you don't you don't see them. You just see the stones. It really doesn't make any difference to your day-to-day -day activities. Anyway, guys, I want to know uh, where you think we should go next. So I'm going to buy one of these two when I can afford it. Actually, they're both quite cheap. So uh, we're going to buy one of those two. So either, like, top or right. Which one do you think we should buy? I'm going to do some district expanding while you guys decide. One vote for top. All happy with top? Right. Oh, come on. Don't do one vote each way. I need one more vote. Top. Okay, we're going top. Two to one. It's two to one. Let's go. Oh, here it is. All of the tops. Let's go up here. 4,800. Purchase. We just have one narrow city. Look at this. Aspen Park on fake Twitter. Oh, no, I'm not going to read that. I think we've probably read it before. Anyway, that's all good. Oh, it looks like we're almost about to get to the next level. Milestones. Yeah. No, no, we did that. What's the next milestone? 4,000. We have a population of 4,000, I swear. 
Or maybe it means a population of another 4,000. Probably. Oh, no, no, it is literally a population of 4,000. <laughs> we unlock the oppression office. When in need of oppression, go to the oppression office. It's their specialty. I like the sound of that. Okay. So we want to expand the industry this way. Um, what's probably the best way to do this? We should probably expand the main road, to be honest. So let's get to the main road tool. Actually, we should probably just have it coming straight off the highway. Might be sensible. Uh, 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 uh. Let's have it, let's expand this. Have it coming this way. So let's expand this. Let's do five grand of road that way. Good. And then, still doing our lovely, these things. Oh, perfect first time. Look at that. So there, and then that goes in. Don't destroy anything. Just go straight. Oh no, it has to go into the intersection. What's it going to destroy? What is that? It's an, it's an orchard. Maybe if I move this back a tiny bit. Actually, yeah, I can just have it coming across here. That's probably fine. Let's do that. And then we come this way, to here, and to there. And we'll do another one because we have a huge demand for industry currently. Let's do all of that. And then, industry. Yes. All good. We can have industry here too if, if anyone actually wants to build a farm there. Look at that. They're going straight away. These guys are eager. Is that place seriously named Wienerland? It is named Wienerland. You are very correct. Okay, so that's all good. Oh, they need water. Um, let's have the water coming along this main road. And then coming up here. It's a sensible way to do it. That looks good. That looks good. People are moving in. Uh, the, in the demand for industry has gone down. The demand for residential is going up because we need people to work in the industries. I also really need to build another fire station because if we look, just look, there's a fire station. It only has to service like six buildings and it still can't even do it. Let's see if actually this fire station is doing anything. Oh, zero, zero fire engines in use. That's probably why. They just don't do anything. The fire departments suck. Maybe this one's taking all the funding. Zero in use. Or does that mean literally there's zero attending to fires right now? You prefer Wienerville. But this, oh, that bit's called Taxylvania. The next, like, district is going to end in Ville. I, I, uh, I promise you that. Something Ville. Start deciding now, I guess. I definitely like the look of that roundabout there. I think that makes the town look so much cooler. Every other, not every other, but every few rows we're going to put a roundabout in. Because it just looks way cool. Garbage is piling up. Can we make an incineration plant yet? No, we can't. We almost can. When we get to 4,000 people, which is right... Oh, the population's going down. That's not good. Go up, go up. 4,000. 4,000. <gasps> go up. Yes! Busy town. Reach a population of 4,000 people. Okay. Fuckville. Pro probably not that. I have a feeling the game might sense that even. Okay, new features. City planning policies. Level 4 unique buildings. Oil industry. Free public transport. Heavy traffic ban. The Omni Bout. I'll show you the Omni Bout that I built. It's going to be so good. Uh, two lane rows of trees. Basically, rows of trees we unlocked as well. And fire station, police headquarters, oil power plant, and hospitals. Let's have a look at the Omni Bout while we wait for the money to go up. Oh, we have enough money. Uh, what should we build down? We should probably build a fire department, I think. We should probably stick it. Hmm. Oh, no, we can't even afford that. I cost 60 grand. But it should. Like be really good for the town. Should. Come on, get to 60 grand. Oh, it's paused, isn't it? No, it's just going really slowly. Mm -hmm. Come on. 60 grand. I'm putting to stick it like here, and hopefully that should work for everyone. No, that thing. That thing. So I'm, I'm going to like start filling in this bit as well of commercial and residential, so... So hopefully this will work for all of those people. So if I stick it there. If I stick it more like up here actually. Might be better. Might be better for all the um, industry bit. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, slope too steep. God damn it. Let's put it there. It probably doesn't have any... Oh, it has water. Does it have power? Nah, it does not. <laughs> is, it, is it worth building a pylon? I'll probably delete the pylon in a sec. But I can build a pylon just for now. Do that. Power to the fire department. Fire department, hopefully, do good things. Okay, we need more residential zone. 
something Ville, best name ever. Give us your money, Vils. Let's complain about water, Ville. That is what everyone does in this game. They just complain about water. Oh, now they're complaining about garbage, apparently. We need to build an incineration plant. Can I even build this yet? Nope. Still need 6,000 people. Okay. We need another landfill. Landfill costs four grand. Oh, we have four grand. We have more than four grand. Slope too steep. <sighs> Story of my goddamn life. Slope is too steep. The slope is too steep. It won't let me build a landfill. But there's one right there. It's the same slope. It's the exact same slope. Oh, whatever. Okay, fine. Um, What are we going to do? Oh, yeah. Omnibout. I'll show you the Omnibout. So if we go in here. Why does the Omnibout cost 34 grand? It doesn't even have that many bits. When I have 34... Actually, I can probably show you now. That's an Omnibout. So yeah, I, was, I was looking in the thing editor earlier. And I made this thing. That's an Omnibout. Do you think I can actually stick it on the side of anything? It looks weird because it like hasn't formed properly. But uh, it's way cool if I actually get to place one. When we have 34 grand, I'm going to place down an Omnibout. And it's going to be so marvellous. But we need like a really flat bit, apparently. <laughs> It's just so amazing. It's so amazing when you see it. it. This, like, red outline doesn't do it justice how good it is. Okay, anyway. Stop screwing around with that. So I'm going to build, like, more uh, residential here-ish. So I need to have, like, a big roundabout because I want to. We'll have it sort of like... How do I spin this thing? There's definitely a button to spin it. Oh, it's right-click. Yeah, there we go. So let's have this coming off, like, here. That's going to make a really weird intersection. Let's have it coming off here. Big roundabout. Yes. And then, uh... We can have another... I probably shouldn't have done that. We can have another six-lane road. Going like this. That's going to cost so much money. But... Oh, no. I shouldn't have put down the roundabout. I did a real stupid with that. That was dumb. Uh... Oh, whatever. I'm just going to do it. Just connect this to here. It's going to destroy the pylon, though. Mm. Mm. Oh, I need to get rid of that roundabout. I did a dumb... No, let's just go this way. Let's go this way. So, uh... Have this like this. Hopefully that should ease congestion a bit. Then can go, like, that way as well. So let's do that. And then... These little roads. Let's continue with the one-way road system. So... Look. Which way was that road? That road goes that way. So we should have it going the same way. I think that's the sense way to do it. So that goes like that. That goes like that. That goes like that. And that one is not a one-way road. And that one's going to have trees, because I said so. Cool. All nice. All good. And let's fill in with the residential. Right. Oh, a new follower. Gilf Magnet. What was it I did yesterday? What was my new, um, my new follower thing? Oh, yeah, I think it was... Cheers. Yes. I think that was it. I think that's what we did. I haven't really had that many new followers, so I haven't had too much time to practice here. But I think that's what we did. So, all good. Okay. New residential zones. I, don't, I, I want... Part of me wants to fill in the middle of that roundabout, but it's going to look so weird having houses in the middle of roundabouts. So I'm not going to do it. I can put them there, actually. I know they're going to be there. Okay, cool. Oh, they need water. They need water, and they probably need power if they don't have it. Water... Water. Oh, that's not connected. Uh, 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 uh. Cover that house. Cover that house. There we go. And more water. Actually, I can just do this one. Let's just connect up to here, really. Should be good. It leaves a tiny triangle, but it's in the road, so no one should be living there. And is it connected via power? Yes, it is. Power availability is fine. Water availability is all right. But sewage is going down again. Sewage is going down. Let's actually get on top of that before it goes bad. The sewage is here. Let's stick another one like that. All good. Let's get the sewage going into the water. Yes, lovely. Is the bay starting to fill up with purple crap? Let's actually look at the water pollution. Where's the water pollution? Oh, it's not that polluted yet, apparently. It will be soon, though. You can see it. It's faintly red there. So, uh... It's going to start filling up this bay. You can see that bay is slightly redder than the sea. Eventually, that's going to be so dirty. It's going to be disgusting. But it's all fine. There's so much pollution around here. Whatever. Okay. What's the next thing we need to do? What are people complaining about? Let's look at fake Twitter. 
to see what people want. Fake Twitter. Have you hashtag lost your wallet? I found a black leather wallet. Send a PM to get it back. The unhelpful ones are so unhelpful. How are my hashtag kids are supposed to play outside when it's... Uh, uh, no, they're just complaining about farming. But farming is great. Everyone loves farming. Um, apart from when it burns down. No, it should be fine. Oh, well, they can, they're saying they're full. Not enough buyers. What does that mean? Does that mean I need more roads going out to the town? Or do I need more commercial zone? I don't know. Put a dam. I would love to put a dam. But uh, dams cost many monies. I need... No, it's because I need 8,000 people to have a dam. We only have 4,100 people. So, can't build a dam yet. That's unfortunate. Um, so, what do we need? They're complaining about... What are you complaining about? Garbage. Oh, waste disposal is what the problem is. Yep. Waste disposal is bad. But we can't put one here because the slope is too steep. Where should I put a new landfill? I don't really want to stick up here. Oh, the slope is too steep. It's just a big pile of rubbish. The rubbish doesn't care how steep it is. Um, maybe let's just try having a little road going off like this. See if this works. Nope. Just having a tiny road like that. See if that's now shallow enough to put a land. Oh, that works! And genius. And such genius. And can I put another one there? Slope too steep. Okay, not not that much of a genius, but still still pretty smart. Okay, so that should be good. When we can build it, we're gonna build an incinerator, which should save from having to build too many landfills. Um, yeah. So hopefully that's good. Okay, what's the next problem? Healthcare, I think, is the problem. Wait, did we build a healthcare thing? Yeah, that's a medical clinic. Let's just see. Let's see. Power, good. Water, good. Garbage. Um, should be fine. Cemetery, that's good. Oh, wait. It's not saying about... Oh, no, th these people are saying they've got no healthcare. But these people are all fine. Let's put down another... Actually, well, let's save up for a hospital. It costs 65 grand, but we make like, two grand a week. Oh, no, that money's going down. Let's make... Another health clinic around here. Let's put it in the roundabout. Ah, oh, space is not already occupied. Oh, it's occupied by a road. Let's take the snap off of it. No, you can't do that. Um, put a park in the middle of your roundabout. I would if it let me. We'll try it. We'll try it, but I don't think it will. Can I put one in here? You can't even put zones next to those ones. That sucks. Let's have this medical clinic um, here. Does that seem sensible? Yeah, that seems sensible. Let's put it there. Happiness. Good. Um, what's next? Fire. Fire's always bad, but that's because the firemen suck. Let's put another fire department. Let's put the fire department here, next to the cemetery. Happiness. All good. Uh, what's next? Police. Policing is actually good. Crime rate 4%. That's super low. Uh, education is alright, actually. Uh, transport. Okay, we want, I want, I want to build a bus depot, but it costs 30 grand. So... Let's see if we can actually get to 30 grand before I have to do anything else. Oh, they're complaining about garbage. I think the problem with the garbage is, is that um, it takes too long for the garbage trucks to get there. I need a more efficient garbage route. Why did they just do that? Why did they come down here and then turn around? Why the... Uh, oh, I see. I know why they do that. It's because um, it's because they're not allowed to like you turn around there. So they have to come to the end of the road to turn around. Maybe I should make a little turning loop then to turn around. But then that's going to congest all the traffic. Maybe I should make a bridge across the river. Let's do that. Oh, I need more residential. I should do more residential so I get more money from taxes. And then we'll use the tax money to build a bridge across the river. It will be so goddamn cool. Okay. One-way roads for residential. The last one went this way. Let's start doing pay, like grass roads. Should make people a bit happier. It's going to run it straight through two people's houses. But in the long run, it's good for everyone. Let's do that. And then uh, we should probably expand the main roads. Go away. Main roads. Should we do main roads with grass or trees or something? Um, how much more does it cost? That costs 100 per cell. That costs 80 per cell. It's not that much more. It's really not that much more. So let's just do it. Let's have trees coming down to here. Oh, it costs like five grand. Exactly. But it's worth it. Worth it to make a beautiful, beautiful city. Let's do that. And then let's have the one-way roads with grass. So the last one went that way. Yeah. So the next one should go... Oh, no. Oh, there we go. This way? Nope. 
This, uh, that's, that's as close as it's going to get. I think they're at like a weird angle, these roads. That makes weird things happen. There, and then... Oh, I nailed it. Well, almost nailed it. Maybe I didn't nail it. No, that's too much of a gap. Oh, this zoning. Mm, I don't want the gap. I don't like the gap. I, there's that much gap. Or it overruns. I don't know what happens when it overruns. No, let's have it with the gap. It's probably better than having them overrun. So let's have that. And then to there. And that's probably enough residential zone for now. Let's stick some residential in here. All good. Places to live. Okay, cool. That should be good for now. People can move in. Oh, they're going to need water, aren't they? Yes, they are. Actually, I already did that. How did I plan ahead like that? No. That's kind of spooky that I had already done that. I'm not sure when I did that. Who knows? Let's just let's just actually fill up the water now in advance for later. I can I can spook my future self again. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So we are quite low on money, but it's going up fast. That's good. Let's see if we can if we can get something in the middle of this roundabout. Let's see if we can get like. Park. Can we just put parks anywhere? No, it must be by a roadside. Can I put trees? I can put trees here. Cost 10. Can I put a path down? Oh, I can make I can make a path. I can make a custom park. Um, but I don't think people can actually walk here because there's no real sidewalk. Oh, there is. It's a dirt path. If I do this, how do I make it? How do I make cross... Um, crossings, crossings. There must be a way to do it. Huh. Maybe there isn't. I don't think there is, actually. I don't think people can get inside this roundabout, which is probably the reason why you're not allowed to put anything inside it, because they're not allowed to cross the road there. So let's just put some trees down to make it look pretty. What's That's the biggest tree. Let's just put one... We'll call it Lone Tree Roundabout. Actually, we should probably make a smaller tree. No, let's just leave that. Lone Tree Roundabout. How fancy. Let's look if we can actually build any unique buildings. Oh, I can have the statue of shopping. Can I stick it in here? No, that has to be by a roadside. I'm going to put it here. Because, wait, it makes noise pollution. What? Oh, no. It's a tiny noise pollution zone. Um, but then it has a big happiness zone. I don't know what that's talking about. I think because this is our our um, shopping district here. Yeah. So I'm going to put it here, and then I'm going to expand the shopping district a bit. Actually, I'm going to expand the shopping district first, and then I'll put that down. So let's stick some of these, some tree roads going from here. Oh, I was going to go straight to the power lines. Uh, uh, uh. We need a way around that. We need to sort the power line issue first. New follower, Robbie Doodle. Cheers! <laughs> that seems so dumb doing that. Um, let's sort the power lines out. Just so they don't get disconnected when I build that room. So let's do a power line to there. Is that going to work? That's going to work. Okay, let's do a power line to there. And it means once they all turn blue, I can get rid of these ones. And then stick a road in there instead. All good. Actually, I can get rid of that one too. It's going over a road. Looking ugly and shit. Get out of the way. Come on, I can't delete it. There we go. Actually, people can put a house there instead or a building. Okay, so let's now... Build the road. I wanted to build this thing. From here to here in a straight line. Looking lovely. Okay. Um, and let's actually have some roads going across like this. I should do one-way roads again. It would be sensible. Yeah, let's let's do continue with the one-way system. Let's have one way like that. And then the next one. Let's line it up. Does noise pollution literally mean a lot of noise? Yes. That Yeah, that is literally what noise pollution is. It's basically stuff that's so noisy that you can hear it from a long way away. So if you've ever lived near, like, a train line, you'll understand what that means. Okay, that looks good. And then we fill all of this in with shopping. Shopping, 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 shopping. Shopping on the main road? No, no one, is, well, no one wants to go into the main road. That's all good. This can be our shopping district and hopefully be nice and expensive. Oh, I didn't put the statue down. Uh, where's it gone? Statue of shopping. Stick it um, in the middle of the shopping district. Right about there. Makes people happy. 
Oh, you can only build one. That kind of makes sense. That's kind of cool. We have our first unique building. It does look kind of nice, actually. Look at that. That's kind of cool looking. What is that? It's two, it's two banknotes, I think, in a statue. It's kind of cool. We made a nice little park. Maybe I should make this whole thing into a park. Is there a park that fits in there? Um, no. The park's quite large. How does the statue make noise pollution? I think the statue... It's because, like, it gets tourists and the tourists stand around and they, like, scream. Look, you can see these people, they're, like, screaming to each other and being all arseholes and stuff. That's why it makes noise pollution. It's the fucking people. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dezone this thing here before it builds it. Let's just pause. I'm going to dezone. Actually, I'm not going to dezone that block because I, I need the money. I need the tax money. I'm actually going good now. We're actually making, like, a lot of money per week. So I'm getting to, I'm getting to a point in this town where I can actually start doing, like, what I want to do. I'm not getting completely screwed over by things. So that's kind of good. What do we want to build next? We have a, we still have a huge demand for residential. So we need more residential. So which way does that one-way road go? I think it's going... Uh, yeah, it's going left to right. So let's make the next one... Does that have trees or it just has grass? Let's have the next one right to left. Nope. Nope. Yep. Oh, no. That looks kind of cool, though. Do we have the curvy thing? I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to have the curve. I like the curve. I don't know why. It just looks kind of cool. Oh, no. It's, that's not a curve at all. That's a straight line, you lying bastard. Get rid of that. Get out of here. You fuckers. Okay. I'm going to have a straight road. The straight road's going to lie to me. <laughs> and then we'll continue it down here. And then let's have another one like this. Oh, no. I need the gap. Where's the gap? Not too much gap. That's the perfect amount. Perfect amount of gap. Like that, and then to here. All good. And then residential. I'd like to get to the point where we can build high density residential because I want to get them. I want to get them skyscraper apartment blocks. It will look way cool. All good. Residential. They're going to need water. Oh, I already did it. Ha <laughs> ha. I, I actually did remember that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's next? Water's good. Ooh, electricity not good. Okay, we're going to need. Why am I not allowed to build that? It costs 50 grand. I don't have 50 grand. We're going to need another power plant. Can I stick it here? Oh, I can stick it there. Look at that. Space efficiency. Lovely. Okay, we've got that. That's going all good. Uh, so electricity is good. Water is good. That's going down, though. We need another one of them in a sec. Uh, garbage is not great. Health is fine. Fire is not great, but sure. Crime is good. Education, bad. Okay, let's build, let's build a high school, but we need to save up for 24 grand. There's a bit of high school when it comes to it. Uh, everything else. Leisure is not... Right. Yeah, everything is basically bad for leisure. There's one park there. But even the people next door aren't even happy about it. Arseholes. I think once we have public transport, it increases people's ability to get around to parks and stuff. So maybe that will help. Anyway. I, as I said last time, I wish that someone else dealt with all the buildings and I just did the roads. Because the roads is the one I'm good at. If this game had multiplayer and it had multiple mayors... And I was just the road mayor, if there is such a thing. Uh, that would be way cool. I just realized I need to expand this district, because that's not agricultural, is it, guys? It's meant to be an agricultural zone. There we go. Get rid of your crappy generic industry. We are having agriculture. This is an agricultural town. Okay, that's cool. I need to actually also expand this place. To there. And then across like this. And then all good. I'm trying to think when we should make a new district. I think when we get, like, our seaside resorty thing there, we'll make that into a new district. Make a rubbish incineration plant. I can't make it. We need 6,000 people. I'm almost at 6,000 people. It's going... Is that, like... Does that mean we're getting 30 people a week? Yeah, it means we're getting 30, 40 new people a week. They're all moving in. All good. Okay. We probably need even more residential zones. Oh, these ones aren't full yet. But they will be soon, I think. Oh, they're complaining about the garbage. Oh, yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to build a bridge. So we should build a bridge um, between this road across here. Oh, it's going to cramp that pa cramp that power line. That's not a thing. Uh, why does it always go through the middle of the power line? That's so annoying. It's going to cut the power line to these things. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to connect it up again real quick. Actually, it's, it's that one there It's going to destroy. So if I do like this space really occupied if I do that that's where's the road gonna go 
That should be fine. That should be fine. So that, that's all connected up. And then, let's see if that was good. Then the road goes... Yeah, the road goes right through the middle of those two. Don't destroy them. Don't destroy them. Don't destroy them. I beg of you, do not destroy that power line. Okay, cool. Let's just do it just across the bridge. Just across the water. Don't destroy him. Yeah, I need to click... It's flashing. I need to click it when it's not uh, going to do it. Can you raise the taxes to max again? No way. That is what killed the town last time because everyone moved out all at once. There's no way I'm raising... I'm not touching that tax screen. That thing is sacred. Okay. We need to click this at the perfect time so that power doesn't go away. Ready? Let's just try this. Three, two, one. Fuck! Ah! Oh, that is so annoying. Okay, give me that. Oh my god, I can't connect it. Are you serious? Who? Who designed this shit? That is so annoying. Okay, give me that, give me that, give me that. I know the garbage is piling up. I mean, not garbage, but you know what I mean. Okay, that's good. And then to there, all good. <sighs> it's the waste, it's the, uh, yeah, the sewage disposal that uses that electricity. Oh my god. Okay, garbage is piling up. We need an incineration plant when we get to... Oh, people are moving out. Why? Oh, they're probably complaining. Oh, they're complaining about the garbage. Yeah, we need another landfill. Just for now. Just to appease the people. But the slip is too steep. Too steep. Too steep. Okay, let's connect these roads up. While we can. Um, that probably doesn't need to be a grassy road. Let's get rid of the grassiness. Because this is the industry side of town, so no one really cares. Connect that up. Oh my god. Oh my god, that slight angle though. Look at that. That sucks. That sucks so bad. <laughs> now these people can't even do that U-turn. Oh my god. It's going to completely screw up the things. I need a little road going like this. To stop, to enable them to turn around. Yeah, okay, that should be fine. So, uh, what did I say we needed? Oh, we need another landfill. That's what we need. Landfill, landfill. Can I stick it somewhere in this loop? Surely. Surely. Somewhere there must be of a decent slope. That's ridiculous. Even there. Ah, I've lost like a thousand citizens. There must be somewhere I can put a landfill. Oh, apparently not. Oh, I can put it there. I can put it there. Does agriculture want to be near landfill? Probably not. <laughs> See if this works. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so annoying! I hate you. I hate you, landfills. You suck. Okay. I'm gonna have to stick it next to the agriculture. So hopefully they don't mind. Put that there. Hopefully that's fine. Oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Okay, hopefully people start moving back in. Oh, people are still moving. Ah, people are moving back. They're all flooding back into Taxylvania. Because they know they love it, really. Okay, garbage is... Hopefully the garbage is actually better now. Because they, they have this, like, shortcut uh, into town. Oh, look at that roundabout. Look at the people going around that roundabout. That is so beautiful. Uh, I should just design roads for a living. I'm just so good at that. That's the only thing I'm good at. I love. I could watch that all day. I could just, I could just like live stream that thing. I would watch that. Probably no one else would. But, uh, that's just me. Okay. Um, I should probably actually connect these roads up here as well. That would probably be sensible. But it's going to destroy more power lines, so I'm not going to do it just yet. Um, they're still complaining the garbage is piling up. Agriculture didn't like the landfill. No, I'm sure they didn't, but I don't really care. I don't make too much money from agriculture, so it's fine. Okay, we need uh, a cemetery. Is the cemetery full? Seriously. Wait. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Uh, no, it's, it's got 600 out of 3,000 people. It just needs more hearses. Yeah, it's got 10 hearses in use. They literally cannot pick up people fast enough. That's the issue. I like how it actually continues the, like, the rocky bit into the cemetery. That's kind of cool. Do you think the cemetery actually feels up like... I think if we come back here and it's full, it'll be full of gravestones. It probably will. That's quite cool. Yeah. What is the salty thing? What did you mean by saying salty in the chat, by the way? I'd like an explanation for that. I was wondering about that. Uh, what do we need next? Healthcare. Oh, we need more healthcare. These people all complain about healthcare. We need to build a hospital. That's what I'd like to build. 
It costs 65 grand. We're getting there. We're getting there, I think. So I think that's what we can do next. All I want to do is build a bus route. <laughs> um, but, like, people just keep dying before they can even get on the bus. That's assault. What are you talking about? What the hell are you guys talking about? Okay, what do we need? We need more industry and more residential. Let's do the industry first. They're complaining there's no one picking up their crops. Probably doesn't actually help. Okay, let's build another. Now it's fucked up the roads as well. Goddamn landfills. Always screwing up everything. The landfill in that weird, that weird zone there. Okay. That's not, no, no, don't, don't live there. Don't live there. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop, stop. Okay, stop. You are not living there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Get out. Just, just go away. You people are too dumb to live in, uh, whatever this town is called. Goldshire. You are too dumb to live here. This is not for living. Okay. Idiots. Let's build another road. Do that. No, no, no. No, no. There we go. That's good. Oh, come on. That is the weirdest, the weirdest junction I've ever seen. So, what the fuck? Anyway. Um, let's put more industry. Not houses. Industry. There. So, that should be good. And then we want to build more residential down here. So, we need to expand these roads. I just have to spend so much money on roads all the time. That's why I can never afford my goddamn bus routes. Let's go like this. And like this. Hopefully that will be enough for quite a few more housing roads. Actually, we should start building the tree. The tree roads are... Oh, no, so too steep. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need to put like a bridge up earlier. If I delete this bit. And we start building bridge. Huh? Uh, that's like the weirdest bridge ever. That can't be too steep, surely. That must be fine. Oh, look at that. That's going to be weird. That's going to be weird as hell because it goes under the floor. And it costs 30 grand. Okay, let's just not... Let's not continue building that way. Because uh, you can't really go... Wherever there's rock, basically, you can't really go there. So we'll just continue building this way. Um, so I sort of need to build another... Actually, we can just build out from here. It'll be fine. Let's get our one-way streets. Which way was the last one going? It's going that way. So the next, that's not. Let's not have a raised-up road like that. That'd be weird. Okay, like this. Nope. Like that. <coughs> oh god. My throat is starting to get sore. That's not good. Like, oh my god. Go in the right place. There. That's the right place. Looks like that. The next one goes. Like that. It never snaps in the right place. Yes! Got it. No! Why is it suggesting those weird curves? Who would want that? That. And one more. Oh, it's going to do the weird thing again. No, it's not. I can't, I can't build it there. But anyway. We got those. And then from there, we're going to build like these weird loopy things. I'll show you what I mean. So. Uh, we should... Where's the first one-way road? Mm, that's not one way. That is. That's the first one-way road. So we're going to build like a strange loopy thing. It goes like this. Oh my god. That's at a weird angle again. Ugh, whatever. So these loops, hopefully, should ease traffic flow. Oh, whatever. I'm, I'm not going to build too much because I've run out of money. And then we just fill all this in with residential. Yeah, so hopefully those loops ease traffic flow. They probably won't. I probably did a really bad thing. Uh, 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 uh. Cool. I should probably do all this as well. Okay. And now we're going to need more water. Okay, 
auto good. Um, electricity? Oh, it'll be fine once they move in. Let's expand the district too. Good. All good. Okay, let's continue time. People moving in. All nice. Building has burnt down. I'm not surprised. I dug up a barrel of glowing goo in my backyard. Who should I call? Just, just maybe put that back and just don't, just don't touch it, okay? Just don't, don't play with that stuff. That sounds weird. I really think maybe we should expand uh, the whole way down. So like here, I think. Oh no, because this is like the crap bay, isn't it? I don't know if we can see it yet. Where's pollution? You can sort of see it. You can sort of see it starting to pile up. So we do not want people living near Crap Bay. So we actually we're going to start expanding the residential. Oh no, we can't go that way because it's all rocky and they won't like it. Mm -hmm. um. So when we can, we'll probably like do a highway going like that and then like a new district over there. But for now, we can probably fit enough residential in this space for it to be fine. I'm sure like that cliff is big enough. Those people are far away enough from the dirty water. They won't go swimming or anything. It should be good. So, um, next thing to do. We actually got 50 grand. Where the hell did that come from? So, when we get to 6,000, we're going to build an incineration plant. It's going to be the next thing. And it costs 30 grand. Can I afford anything else in the meantime? Can't afford any hospitals. That's a fire safety thing. Can't afford a hospital. That costs 65 grand. Oh, but I need more clinics, though. Okay, let's put a clinic down here. On that corner. On the corner. Destroy the house. Put it on the corner. Okay, fine. Don't don't destroy the house. All good. Go right. What do you mean by right? If I go this... If I look like that, which way should I go? Oh, just big town. I'm a big town. We have reached a population of 6,000 people. We can now get a new area, new tax policies, uh, level 5 unique buildings, a metro system, education boost, many, many policies. I'm not going to read all of them. Uh, new things. High density. Oh, I like that. Uh, office zones, high density commercial zones, metro station, university, and incineration plants. I'm going to build an incineration plant straight away. I have 90 grand. Look at that. Yeah, guys, in this view, which plot do you want? If you're suggesting this one, you are you are very funny, but I'm not going to do it because that would be a massive waste of money. And it costs tons as well. It costs nine and a half grand. That is weird. Um, that one's actually quite cheap. That's probably the one I'll buy next, I think. That seems like the most sensible one, that one up there. But we will see. We will see. Do I actually get to name the tiles? No, you don't name the tiles. Okay. Why am I stuck up here? Oh, I'm stuck in this view. Okay, what do I want to do? I wanted an incineration plant. Oh, a new police building. No, no I don't want that. So incineration plant. That is an incineration plant, right? Yeah, okay. That goes here, if it will let me build it. Here? Here. No, put it on that corner there. On that corner there. All good. That should be good. And actually, that produces electricity. Are they connected to electricity? They should be. No, it doesn't have any water. Why would it need that? Who knows? Let's uh, bring the water. I actually, we can make water pipes just go straight over there, can't we? It looks weird, but uh, it's fine. That's all good. Can I actually see the pipes? Oh, no, you can't. That's fine. So that's all good. Look at that. Can you try doing rap god? Um, probably... I don't think I don't think you want to see that as much as you think you do. I'm not going to destroy the bridge. I don't think I'm not allowed to destroy that bridge. I don't own that bridge. I I am not anytime soon. I don't think going to attempt any Eminem songs, or definitely not that one. That is beyond my rap ability. Okay. Oh, these people need water. Oh yeah, that's true. Water. Oh, there's nothing there. The water. Oh, there it is. Water. Okay, cool. What's next? What is next? 